The number five track on Juvenile's 1998 release of 400 Degrees is titled Ghetto Children, in which the first verse gives a raw depiction of kids growing up poor in the projects with dreams of making it out through rapping, sports, or a major connect. And even though Juvie pinpointed the harsh realities, the truth is only a handful will beat the odds. And these times we gotta hustle, cause our pockets be hurt. Lil' they didn't wanna get funded from who got work. In Central City, New Orleans, during the late 1980s and all all through the 90s, names such as Tanto, Magnolia Slim, Baby Gangsta, and Juvenile were names already tied to legacies. From the rap game to the streets, those names were highly respected and recognized as citywide royalty, each of who brung forth the legacy of their own, their sons. And in the early part of 2015, the world would recognize their presence. When it's war time, my nigga don't hesitate to get sooner than voted. If you cross the line, then you say hey, get penalized, so don't be stoked. This was the first and only music video ever recorded with them all in attendance and just an example of what could have easily become the world's next biggest rap group but where there's smoke there's fire internal and external friction that caused their movement to come to a complete stop ghetto children the ghetto children it was really ahead of his time them looking really good rap Jude put us in the studio you feel me? he was like man y'all y'all know each other y'all fuck with each other y'all you know what i'm saying young juve lil slim ty nino kelvin and daniel heartless were the original members of the New Orleans based group called the Ghetto Children and like their title they were all tied to the streets as well as music in some form or fashion. Ball in my ear, nigga. Chains with the big things on them. Fame came to my block, nigga. My little niggas gon' pop, nigga. For the past 25 years, the name Tonto have run through the city of New Orleans like an urban legend, and when they talked about him, it was always delivered like breaking news. Many heroic stories of how he helped out entire communities and made many ghetto children's dreams come true by supplying them what they needed, and in turn, they helped themselves. Like most bosses, his presence was rare, and in fact, the first time the masses would see his face was through his son, Nino Kelvin. Fall off for what? Yeah, I'm gonna stun. I won't for none. Rich gang for none. If not, then fuck the motherfucker. Man, Nino, I've been knowing Nino since I was fucking six. We the Man, Nino grew up together like that. And I know, you feel me? Just being around. His people bring him down. You know what I'm saying? You know, he would always be around my daddy, you feel me? Daniel and Nino was clicked, like, right? you know what I'm saying? Until this shit happened about the fire on, but that shit was just foolish. Like, honestly, as an adult, as grown men, that could have been figured out. Look, my girl in a new space, closer to that due date. I'm out here hoping somebody carry me like a bouquet. Just like everyone else in the group, Daniel Heartless was already somebody before playing his role as a ghetto child and was the only member native to the West Bank of the city. He was born and raised in Marrero, Louisiana, just minutes outside of the N.O., but he roamed it all and had a reputation for being one of the city's most potent lyricists. Heartless smile while my grandmama's struggling. Mama still doesn't know about me hustling. Raven saw me move pounds out the bathroom. Teacher mad I was late to that classroom. Little soldier Slim T.Y. Young Jew, man. I'll tell you all through the city, wherever, anywhere, doing whatever we want to do, you feel me? Just young niggas coming up in the city. It's the city, like. And niggas, the city love that. Young Juve, T.Y., and Lil Soldier all had movements of their own. And although the three of them are sons of musical legends, they still had their own weight to carry. So instead of surviving off their father's names, they decided to become chefs. And rap is what they cooked up. All I roll with is hustle us, and you know how we rock. All you roll with is bust the niggas, tell when they get popped. Juvenile's bright idea to pull them all together for a song eventually turned into a group effort that gave life to a five man band and they called it the ghetto children every day is violence niggas they be wild and put it on my mama you don't want no drama pull up no designer pocket full of condoms about to pull your bitch like she was in the lineup after recording several songs together an ep was packaged and distributed through selected social media sites while the group made an important appearance in new york city both of which created a buzz and a major demand for more but as things started to unfold the reality of it not being possible began to show T.Y., the son of BG, was already signed to Currency's Jet Life Entertainment label prior to joining the Ghetto Children, and although that didn't stop him from becoming a member, it would have easily affected his ability to play both parts. With it all, bitch, I'm sick of y'all. I be that nigga she digging on. I'm in that know you with third is on me, trying to kill all them niggas that murder her. When Nino Kelvin got the call from Juvie about joining the group, he happily obliged, but months prior, he had already 
already connected with Birdman in the Rich Gang situation. And although he wasn't signed to him yet, his loyalty was with Cash Money, which means after signing, any future ventures with the Ghetto Children would have to wait. Could have been bigger than the Hot Boys. That project, I feel like, didn't happen because it was too much on them and it was by them not understanding how big that would have been, it was important, but it wasn't important. You know what I'm saying? Because when niggas not seeing bread all shit, you know, niggas interest gonna be with that bread at. So everybody wanted to get their hustle on. You feel what I'm saying? And and all them dudes, pure hustlers. When the buzz about the GCs went down, rumors of internal friction and they don't get along begin to surface. And it's sad to say, but the negative buzz got more attention than their entire movement. Starting the group was a good idea for the short run, but had no long-term direction. With no in-house producer, no solid management, and no signed paperwork between them, plans for continuing the ghetto children was put on hold. But what happened to the point where they, that it didn't, you know, get to the point, the level that it should have got? Um, I wasn't really rapping then, so I really don't know, like, I was just there, like, I can't tell you what didn't happen. It's been more than five years since the GCs were considered for a shot at the majors, and although they never made it mainstream as a unit, they've all reached levels in their careers that exceeds the average, especially coming from where they come from. But imagine if they had the proper backing. A group of sons from legendary fathers would have been the first of its kind, easy to market and ultimately one of the biggest groups to come out of the city. They loving the soldiers, straight out the know you committed some soldiers, thirties and boulders, serving and dumping, I gotta get money. Speak on my name, you know how I'm coming Ready, locked, and loaded, all my homie soldiers If we ride, then you get ran over Pumping gas, smoking off this hangover Dig those niggas till I get a Range Rover This is Chopper City, flat you like a penny Put it to your kidney, ruin your life G's fucking with me, we looking fluffy When you think about it, I did it right Pouring up the Henny, swerving through the city Rolling up the sticky, bad bitches Ooh. with me I could fuck her up, I could touch her gently I could lock it down, call it penitentiary <laughs> I came up with niggas busting heads when I was 12, I was smoking mid. I had a 25, I couldn't wait to use it just in case a pussy n trying to play. <laughs> Nigga ain't never seen rainy days. Uh -uh. Finesse and say you a pound of hay. So, which goon I'm gonna run into the day? So, Magnolia may rest in peace or two. Start a trend, they gon' copy mine. <laughs> Baby, get naked for Calvin. I know that you want it, cause you never had it. I fuck for forever, your ass is the fattest. I love it. I'm on the fifth of that mud. <laughs> I'm in that Bentley, no colors. Huh. Sure, they gon' fuck with the younger. Huh. Every bitch who got a butt. Real bitches never kiss and tell. All that ass on her look like K. Michelle. Flexing on these bitches never wish me well. Swear a nigga higher than the Himalayas. Yeah. Uh-uh, you already know I hit him with 17 in the front, third in the back pocket. You hear me? Like that stuff behind that stuff with all that stuff. Addicted to be selfie, my overdose. Bless you with this dick, catch that Holy Ghost. If I'm on that link, get the slowest stroke. Got rich niggas dream, I ain't going broke. Yeah, when it's walk time, my niggas don't hesitate to get suited and booted. If you cross the line, then your ass get penalized, so don't be stupid. If you know what it is, then you know that we ain't gotta prove it. Finessing this shit.